All right, guys, let's see how we can install Laravel and uh, set it up in a way convenient for web development under Visual Studio Code. We'll be doing this under Ubuntu. You can follow the same setup under Windows WSL2. So from the documentation, we'll go to getting started on Linux and then we will install Laravel via Composer. We'll go to a terminal. And from here, we can type a sudo apt install composer. And I've already did this. The next thing to do is to use the Laravel library from the composer and to create a project. We'll name the project Laravel application. So the same command and the name will be Laravel app. So this will fetch a lot of libraries and you need to wait uh, for the whole process to finish. I've already did so. And we can go to the newly created Warwell app directory. And here you can see that uh, we have all of our project files. And so we can uh, launch from here Visual Studio Code by typing code and dot. All right, so here is our project. And now let's uh, set up the initial configuration for uh, the database. So we'll go to the environmental file .env, and here we'll set up a database connection of type uh, MySQL. And the only thing that will change is the password. Uh, so it will be MySQL and let's see how we can set up our MySQL under Ubuntu in order for this to work. All right, so the first thing that we would like to do is to install a MySQL. So we can type uh, sudo apt install MySQL server and I have it uh, here already installed. Then the next thing is uh, to configure uh, the MySQL server to use a password. Uh, and since there are changes into the way a user can log in into MySQL, we'll use alternative method to set up our password. So the first thing to do is to stop uh, the running MySQL service, and then we'll create a directory var run MySQL daemon. This will be for the socket of MySQL uh, to be able to run, and we'll give access or ownership of our user uh, MySQL to this directory. Again, to be able to run MySQL in a safe environment, uh, which will allow us to skip the initial uh, protection via this option, uh, skip ground tables and skip networking. All right, so uh, as you can see, the MySQL daemon is uh, started. And uh, now uh, we can enter inside and uh, change the uh, way uh, the root user authenticates and its uh, password. So we'll type uh, sudo uh, mysql minus user root, and this will get us into the mysql uh, server. And then we'll use the following long command. Actually, this one will go into the MySQL user table and then uh, it will set a new password for the user root, where the password uh, here is uh, MySQL. As you can see, it's encrypted. And also the important thing here to notice is that we are setting up uh, the MySQL native password plugin. So this is the authentication method uh, that we are going to use. And this will allow us to connect uh, with username and with password instead of uh, the socket connection uh, to MySQL. All right, once ready, we'll exit from this uh, MySQL connection. And now it's time to shut down our uh, temporary accessed uh, MySQL server. So we did this with uh, the following command. Uh, we are shooting down uh, the MySQL D socket, uh, which we created this directory beforehand, var run MySQL D. And we're using MySQL admin uh, to do so. The next thing uh, we would like to do is actually to uh, start the MySQL service, which will reload all the configuration parameters that we already changed. And we'll be able uh, to use our uh, MySQL uh, from within uh, Laravel. And now inside of uh, the project directory, we can run php artisan uh, migrate, and this will migrate all the tables that are created by default. And then if we would like to check uh, those uh, tables, we'll log in with the MySQL account here. 
uh, that we created with the password of MySQL. And now we can see the databases that we have. Uh, we see that we have a database Laravel and we'll use it. So use Laravel and show tables. Uh, we'll see that uh, we have uh, users, password resets and migrations tables. And those tables, by the way, correspond to the uh, default migrations that we have uh, here are those uh, migrations. So they are using uh, schemas in order to generate uh, those tables. So we are uh, just uh, describing uh, the structure of certain table. So for example, for table users, we're setting up ID, name, email, password, and other fields. Actually, if we type uh, describe users, we'll see the same structure here of the columns that we have uh, defined here. And again, we can uh, change something in the structure and run uh, PHP Artisan migrate and the migration will change the columns.